Hi there, thanks for tuning in. This is a quick introduction to JDeploy. Uh, I'll start out with a short slideshow and end up with a demo to show you how to publish your Java applications using NPM. So here's a quick overview of what JDeploy does. It takes your Java application, it could be an executable jar or it could be a WAR file, it allows you to publish it to NPM, that's the Node Package Manager. And from NPM, uh, users are able to install your application on the command line with a single line of code. So why do this? Well, NPM is really easy to use. Uh, if you're coming from Maven, uh, you might think that publishing to a central repository involves creating a whole bunch of uh, GPG keys and uh, setting up a whole bunch of configuration files. That's not true of NPM. It is very easy. It only takes a few seconds. Uh, once you've got your NPM account set up, you do jdeploy jdepo publish, and your app is published. Uh, next reason is because NPM makes it easy for users to install your app. One line of uh, code, a little snippet you can send out, and uh, people can install your app on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So the requirements right now, uh, to run JDeploy, you need to have Node.js installed. This is a simple installer on all platforms, and you need Java 8. Uh, you don't need the full JDK, just a JRE. Uh, in the future, uh, I might bundle uh, Java with it uh, to remove that, uh, that requirement, at least for the, uh, the finished applications. So installing JDeploy, we use NPM, of course. On Windows, it's a simple command. On Mac, it's the exact same command, but you need to use sudo because it's going to install a, a symlink at, the, at a level that you need to have uh, administrative uh, privilege to. Uh, so how to publish? First of all, uh, open your command prompt and go to the directory where your project is, where you've got your jar or your war, and type jdeploy in it. This will create your package JSON file and give you everything you need to be able to publish. Uh, when you want to install locally, you do jdeploy install, and to publish to npm, you would do jdeploy publish. And how do users install your app? Well, they open a command prompt and they type npm install whatever your app name is, that's unique on the npm registry, and uh, the dash g says do it globally. So what can you publish? You can really publish any Java app. Uh, Command line apps is uh, the obvious uh, uh, first thing to try. Uh, you can do GUI. There's nothing stopping you from uh, using Swing or JavaFX inside your apps. And you can also publish web apps. Uh, JDeploy will wrap up WAR files uh, inside a, uh, a standalone app using Jetty to serve it. So when pe people can run your app, it'll fire it up in Jetty and <clears throat> open up a browser window uh, so they can start using your app. Now let's take a look at JDeploy in action. We'll begin by creating a new Java project in NetBeans. We'll create a Java application project, and I'll call it Hello JDeploy. And in our main method, we'll just simply print out Hello JDeploy to the command line. and build it. This will create an executable jar inside the disk directory. Now let's go to the command prompt and go to our project directory. We're going to run jdeploy init. This will create a package.json file that we can use to publish our application to npm. Once that's been created, we'll call jdeploy install to install the application to our local machine. This will create a symbolic link to our application so we can just run it directly on the command line by calling hello jdeploy, as we see here. Now that we have it on our local machine and we verified that it works, let's publish it to npm. We simply type jdeploy, jdeploy publish and this will push our application up to NPM 
so that it's available for all the world to install. Now, let's go to some other machines to verify that this worked. I'll start with a Linux box running Ubuntu that I have on my local network. So I'll SSH into the box and try to install it. I need to use uh, sudo because it's going to in, uh, install it globally with a symbolic link. And we run sudo npm install the name of my app and then the dash g to signify that it's global. Type in my password and it should be installed. Let's verify. We'll run hello jdeploy and there's my application. Now let's go over to Windows. This is uh, running in Microsoft Remote Desktop. I've opened a command prompt and I'll run the exact same command, except I don't need sudo on Windows. And this will download it from the NPM central repository and install it. Now let's test to make sure it's installed. Hello, jdeploy. Yes, there it is. And now I've created a simple command line application and distributed it to the world so they can install it with one command. Thanks for watching.